In this video, we will cover the Action Center capabilities that exist in the latest Cortex XDR version. The Action Center provides a central location from which you can track the progress of all investigation, response, and maintenance actions performed on your Cortex XDR protected endpoints. You can access the Cortex XDR Action Center by going to Incident Response, Response, Action Center. The main All Action tab of the Action Center displays the most recent actions initiated in your deployment. To narrow down the results, click Filter on the top right. You can also jump to Filter Action Center views for the following actions. File Quarantine, Block List, Allow List, Endpoint Isolation, External Dynamic List, Endpoint Blocked, IP addresses, and agent script library. For actions that can take a while to complete, the Action Center tracks the action progress and displays the action status and current progress description for each state. For example, after initiating an agent upgrade action, Cortex-XDR monitors all stages from the pending request until the action status is completed. From this window, we can also see the details of the action. We can see the type of action, in this case, agent upgrade, the time and date uh, where it was created. We can also see the status it was completed, uh, action parameters, and target or targets. Here you also have uh, filters. You can add or remove to your convenience. You can play with the the tipo, the 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 different layers that we have uh, as you can see with the, there are many you could um, export to a file or refresh accordingly from the all action section uh, you can uh, have an overview based on filters or not of all the actions that are happening in your environment uh, from here, uh, we have a few of them. We have, as uh, shown before, the um, an agent upgrade type. We have a file search. We have a quarantine action. We have a add to the block list, uh, support file retrieval, uh, retrieved alert data, and support file retrieval. In Action Center, like uh, many other parts of the Cortex XDR console, uh, we can configure uh, the layout view to our liking. Um, by clicking on the three buttons to the top right, we can configure the different options that we have for the layout. As you can see here, we could add or remove columns to the table. We can, unlike with uh, some of the sections in the Action Center, we can save the filters that we have created. Uh, for an easy access, you could save uh, for yourself or share with the other users within the Cortex XDR console. The Action Center also displays an expiration date for each of the pending actions. After the expiration date, the action is removed from the Cortex XDR and is no longer displayed in the Action Center. In the Learn Action view, we can see uh, the status of all the actions that we have perform or we are performing. In this case, we can see the action tile file search where uh, we send, we target uh, 60 endpoints uh, for this particular search, which is searching a specific hash value. Um, the current status is in, still in progress. Uh, 22 has completed successfully, whereas uh, 38 are still impending. I can right click on it and go to uh, additional data. I can click. I can select cancel for pending uh, endpoints, copy text, and copy uh, the entire row. I can go to the additional data, and here I can see that in fact it's just showing me the the, the only result where this hash was uh, found, which is for this endpoint. I can uh, um, I can sort it by the file or I can just go to by endpoint and then I'll see all the endpoints I have uh, where the task has been executed. The status in this case is completed successfully. The file exists is no, existing instances zero. 
So for the one that it was found before, you can see here it says file exists, yes. Existing instances, only one. For the rest, it's zero, and the other machines most likely are uh, disconnected and not reachable. We can create actions by clicking on the new action button on the top right corner of the console. We have several options here, file retrieval, retrieve support file, add to block list, add to allow list, and so forth. From here, we can define target. We could make our search easier by adding some filters. And then selecting the endpoints that we well, that we like, we could select one, or by clicking by pressing shift, many. We can click on next. We can see a summary of what the action is gonna is gonna do. In this case, it's gonna retrieve support file, upload extended agent to log file, and then the target. In this case, eight endpoints. Click on done. And here we have the action in progress. From the action center, we can also download files that have been previously uploaded to the Cortex XDR uh, tenant. In this case, I could download the support file retrieval by go clicking on the task and going to additional data. From this window, I could check which of the endpoints have successfully completed the task. In this case, I only have two, so I could just grab one of them and right click on them. And then you'll see two new options, download files and generate support file link. Um, generate support file link, uh, you can generate and share this uh, link with anybody that you want, whether it is from your organization or TAC or anybody else. The link will be available for seven days and they can download the file whenever they want. For the more conventional way would be to right click on it, download files and then it will download locally and then you can share whoever you like. The same thing can be done with uh, retrieve alert data. Uh, retrieve alert data, the action was initiated from an alert and after a while it seems that it was able to, to download, sorry, to upload to the, to the action center. And from here will be just to, we'll only have download files and not the option to generate a download link. Another thing that we can do in the Action Center is to view and review certain uh, action types. In this case, things like quarantine and add to block list or uh, allow list. Um, from here, for the quarantine option, I could go right click on it and go to additional data. And I can see, again, uh, details about this action, things like the type, the time, status, action parameters, in this case, what which file was quarantine. Here we can see which one it was quarantine and the target. From here, we can right click on the action, but um, there's no, no real action to, to take. So for this particular, for quarantine in particular, we can go to the left side of the action center where we have the action menu and then we can click on file quarantine. I already previously filtered by the uh, endpoint that, uh, that had that file quarantine. And as you can see, I can, uh, it's here. And then I have cer certain options like uh, restore all files, uh, all files by SHA-256. Uh, copy copy to text, uh, copy text to clipboard, copy entire raw, show rows or hide for the filtering options. Uh, we can open a virus total or we can uh, open the hatch view to see uh, if there are any other incidents related to that or things like um, if there are other endpoints. And all of course action, uh, the, the open view launcher. And here you can see really quickly that this has is a, is a malware has. Uh, again, we can we can do things like send it to virus total. Uh, from here, we can also view the report uh, and so forth. 
And the same can be done with uh, add to block list, or if we had it uh, to the allow list. Uh, from here, we cannot go to additional data, but if I will go to block list, I can see I could add some more the creation time. Well, I can see that this is the one that I added, and from here, I can uh, disable, I can move it to the allow list, I can edit the incident ID. Uh, I can put a comment, I can delete it, and the same uh, copy text to clipboard, copy entire uh, raw, uh, opening virus total, or opening hash view. Same thing with the quick launcher, and again, we can see that it's malware and so forth. So, this is the action center for the current release of Cortex XDR. Thank you very much.